Hi, Chuck Hawley from West Marine. This boat is used by the Santa Cruz Yacht Club in their junior program. It's used to uh, set marks and to pick up young sailors if they capsize and rescue boats. It's a Zodiac 8-man. It's the Pro Series. You know, when we first put this boat into operation at the Yacht Club, we had some problems with it. And uh, we've come up with two really nice solutions. The boat is fine, and the little Yamaha outboard is fantastic. But because we mounted the console pretty far aft, we had difficulty getting the boat up on a plane. The bow would rise, and it was, uh, wasn't very comfortable. The second thing that we noticed is that the engine came with the wrong propeller for this type of boat. And I want to show you how we've solved these and how you can actually apply these same tricks to your own boat and maybe save some fuel while you're at it. Let's take a look. The first thing we did was to try to add a little lift to the stern of the boat so that it would plane at lower speeds and so that the bow wouldn't pitch up as much. We did that by installing a Stingray hydrofoil on it. That's you can see right here. This mounts to the top of the cavitation plate on the outboard and it uses four fasteners right here, here. They bolt on and uh, it's basically there permanently. Now the additional um, lift that this provides gives the stern some lift, allows the bow to kind of level out, and the boat improved its performance dramatically. So the Stingray hydrofoil allowed us, us to plane at lower speeds, have less bow rise when we're accelerating. The boat basically just goes onto a plane without ever going through that semi-displacement mode. The second thing we did was install a Propulse propeller. This is a little bit harder to see because it's tucked way underneath here. Propulse propellers are made out of a plastic composite that's extremely strong. You can actually hit these blades with a hammer and they won't break. And the blades are molded so they're in a beautiful shape. Uh, you know, they're absolutely identical because they come out of an injection mold. One of the features of the Propulse propeller is that you can replace an individual blade. So if you're out running around and you hit a stick or wrap a line around your prop and you break one of the blades, you can actually pull it off. In fact, the propellers come with a spare blade and reinstall the blade and you're good to go again. The second advantage of the propeller is that oh, it's a four blade propeller incidentally and the standard propeller that came with this engine was a three blade. It was roughly a 10 inch diameter by 15 inch pitch. So <clears throat> The problem that we had was the boat did not get up to its wide opening throttle um, rating. This engine should run between about 5,000 and 6,000 RPM when it's wide open. As it turns out, the engine was running got down sort of in the 44, 4300 RPM range. Well, that made the boat accelerate sluggishly, and it also uh, is bad for the engine because the engine doesn't actually get up to its full operating RPM. So we took off the old prop, and last weekend I installed the Propulse propeller. When I initially installed it, I put it at the middle pitch range because you can adjust it to five different pitches, and went out and tried the boat. With one other passenger, <clears throat> the boat would go to about 4,500 RPM, which was still too low. All you have to do then is take this Allen wrench and adjust these four bolts that are on the back side of the propeller, you loosen them up about three turns, you grab the blades and twist the blades like this and move it to a new pitch range, tighten up the bolts and go back out and try it again. So I changed the pitch just one stop and the, the RPM went up to all the way up to 5100 RPM. The boat is a completely different boat now. It accelerates better, it just feels better on the water because the engine isn't lugging. So, the two changes were to put on the Propulse propeller a four-blade composite propeller with adjustable pitch and replaceable blades, and to put on the Stingray hydrofoil. Those two changes took a boat that was sort of marginal at the time and made it handle beautifully. And they'll do the same thing for your boat. Thanks for watching, and as always, remember these products are available from West Marine.